and this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about Microsoft's new Surface tablet. Yeah, which actually there's two of. There is a consumer version, there's a pro version. Mm -hmm. And most people will probably want the pro, okay. Everybody but, wants the pro version. They want the pro version, but, but we, you know, we'll talk to, tell you about what we saw yesterday and then tell you what people are thinking, which is really not very good because we, we we, we, we've seen virtually no interest in what they did yesterday. Well, part of it is, is it comes out with the big splash. This is Microsoft. Um, they had sent out the invitations a couple days prior, and there were media that came in from all over the place. And it, I, I remember when we were sitting there waiting in line, some of the media were saying, we knew it was in Los Angeles, but we didn't know where it was going to be, so we didn't know how to plan for timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said, we only found out this morning that it was going to be out at Milk Studios. Yeah. So this was a mystery preview. Yeah. And people, most of the people, it wasn't much of a mystery because they knew they were either going to do the tablet or going to talk about Windows um, yeah. Windows TV again, which is never went anywhere, which is, my guess, the tablet is an end run around to get Windows TV. Ah. Uh, well, they did talk about viewing on this and the importance of 16.9. Yeah. But the... Um, the, the, the you know, they basically it's designed to run off of Windows, I think RT, and um, the Pro off of Windows 8. You know, so, in fact, they're timing the release of it with the Windows 8. Yeah, the uh, the Pro will come out about three months after the regular one. So, but okay, we'll start off right off the bat with what's it gonna cost? We don't know. Okay, when's it coming out? We don't know. But this is what we're anticipating. When is Windows 8 supposed to be out? Uh, Windows 8 is supposed to be out in the fall of this year, so we're assuming, well, because... We're assuming because there's different points in time where, um, for different types of technologies, like back to school season and holiday season are big buying times. Yeah, I can, as of this morning, I think I can make an educated guess when Windows Pro is coming out because what now is that Microsoft is trying to integrate all the pieces of the company together so that everything Basically, they're trying to do um, Apple, which is basically everything around Apple ties into one thing. They were talking about the Kinect, the Xbox, and all mm -hmm. of this stuff, and Windows 8, how um, basically the software takes center stage. Um, I, I got a tip this morning that Windows 720 is, I mean, um, Xbox 720 is coming out for the holidays. Um. Yeah, and, uh, and the, um, the, uh, Surface Pro, actually, we didn't we didn't tell anybody's name is Surface. The Surface Pro is really tied into a lot of the same things they're talking about the 720 Xbox does. Ah, uh, so part of it is our expectations because of when things come out typically. Uh, this is our own personal speculations. One will be out just on time. The first one, the Windows we tell you, we'll RT, come in for right, back to school season. Yeah, right. And the second one out. For the, holidays. for the holidays, which should be sometime in November, you can start seeing the cells on the thing. And but, the the other indicator was that they were going to be about three months apart from each other, yeah. so those would be key but into that. When Microsoft has notorious not to have things out when they're supposed to have them out. Yeah. They come in late with product because I've got also was sort of told last night that that this is you know worth being built. There's no lines ready to build it. Yeah, so it's just... Um, I know, but you know, they do this big, splashy, like, press conference, and it looks really, really cool. And so, of course, you're like, you're, you're sitting there going, oh, yes, when can we get it? When can we get it? Because you get all excited. Because, you know, it's no, we were a asked, fabulous presentation. We were told last night, well, when they give the surfaces away, make certain that you pick up an extra one for me. Yeah, that didn't happen, folks, because, um, um, I mean... Basically, this is, what is it, it's like about 12, I don't know, 14, 15 hours later. Actually, right now, this is about four and a half minutes, it's about 18 hours later, and there is no buzz on the internet on it whatsoever, none. Mm -hmm. It's just like they're talking about the thing. You know, it's got a lot of neat features, but what it is, it's just a guy off with just one of these things, half of one of these is what it amounts to. Well, you know, when you put it in your hands, I mean, this obviously is to compete against. Apple is yeah. that you put it in your hands and it feels really nice. It's really lightweight and it's that 22 degree angle, which, which they we, cannot give you a reason why, other than the fact it feels good in your hands. But how did they come to the fact that 22 degrees feels good in your hands? Mm -hmm. They no explanation. They do a lot of explanation. They run you through 
but it does have something neat that has never been done before. What? This is the most surprising thing. This is the biggest announcement that has ever been made by Microsoft ever in its history. It's basically an earth-shattering announcement that no one has ever did it before. What's They're that? using injection molding. <laughs> it has never been done before. <gasps> yeah. Okay, here's the, here's the cool part. Because it did bring out the executives. They brought out Steve Ballmer, the CEO of Microsoft. Yeah. Um, Steve Sanofsky, the president of Windows and Windows Live division. And Michael and Angelo, the corporate vice president of Windows Planning Hardware and PC Ecosystems. And actually, there was another, oh, Panos. Yeah, but th they were channeling. He's a general manager of Microsoft. Yeah, but they, they, everybody channels Steve and Jobs. Who they come out in their jeans and their their tennis shoes and their t-shirts. Except for Steve, did, Steve didn't, the president. He, he came out in his Microsoft uniform. That yes. was his, which is his, his shirt and his, uh, his pants and his shoes. But he did, the, the big executives at Microsoft all wear the same uniform. It is a Microsoft uniform, but you, okay. There gets to be a point when you get to be my age and you come out to do a presentation that can make or break your company. Don't come out when you're my age looking like you're 30. It doesn't look, it doesn't work right. So, but we had a typical Microsoft problem. One What's of the that? units didn't work. Remember, he oh. had to go, wait a second, he went and got back. He took another unit out and, uh, you know, but it, it's um, it's got a lot of features. I mean, for you know. Uh, okay, well, here's here's the cool part. What? Okay, one of the things that was kind of unusual is the size. Okay, when we look at specs. Um, the tablets you're used to seeing are typically seven inch or ten inch. Yeah. Actually, ten point one inch. This yeah, one is ten point six. Yeah, but it, it's just wrong headed. It's the wrong size. People don't want a ten inch tablet. They want the seven and smaller. They mm -hmm. basically. You can't carry, they said, well, it's, it's meant to look like it's a book when you put its touch cover on, mm -hmm. um, which the touch cover is held in place by the devices that allow, but basically, it's basically Magnetic. It's magnets that basically are also the devices that hook your cover up to the equipment so you can use it as a cover, but it's a god awful big book at 10, 6 inches. Yeah, it is kind of big. Um, here's part of it is it felt really good in the hands. The colors that came out and the keyboards that attached that with the magnetic, it had five different colors. Well, we saw, we saw uh, white, pink, blue. Red. red, red. Yeah, that okay. One of them was red. So. Black. Yeah. What was the last one? Like an orange. Or? So it, 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 okay. The best cover they have, which is, looks like a cloth cover, is the one that goes with the t pad that actually looks like a, t a computer keyboard. That has got a good looking cover on it. Actually, that was nice. I really liked it because it attaches magnetic, so it's supposed to attach really easily. And then that was the one where the, the keys are actually the a little keys bit thicker. Are, the keys are thicker. It's like a keyboard you're used to dealing with because people really hate touch screens. I mean, people do not like touch screens. Well, you know, as much as you think that it, it just uh, still is not the same, it doesn't work nearly the same. Why well, couldn't um, you? I sit there and tap on my tablet, and because it's not a touch, and it's just, you know, you, you kind of have. Like hit the wrong button half the time. No, but I'm, <laughs> Even I, when I'm used to it. But here the trick is, I got my hands. I got to play with one of them. It didn't work. I mean, it did not work mm. when it's supposed to. Well, it did because that's, I, what, that's what happens with prototypes, right? Because the touch didn't work. I tried to expand the picture. Uh. I could not make it expand. You know, boom, mm, mm, mm. and it, it, that's what you hate about touch screens. They don't work the way they're supposed to. But, um, uh, there's some things that I thought were really exciting in this is that, yes, it's like everybody uses Apple's iPad as uh, the baseline, yeah. and Microsoft is no different. Uh, but the, here's the cool part is it is expandable. There's a micro SD slot. This, the, the small tablet has a USB 2.0. Yeah. The larger one that's multi portable has a U USB 3.0. Um, but they do have built-in USB port, which they are trying instead of eight. They got, you know, basically I checked it out. You know, they got the standard HDMI, but they think they also have a USB. They, they basically a USB port is not normal on this. But since a tablet is nothing more than half of a computer, they should all have USB ports because all you do is yeah. take the top off and put it on the thing, and then make a. So and it's got the antenna that goes all the way around it, the yeah. antenna. 
Um, the it's got a two, it's got a dual antenna system, which means you should you should get better streaming video mm -hmm. on it, which basically we know depends solely upon your internet connection. It doesn't make any difference. Now, you know, it's geared towards HD video. I mean, this great big thing here and my little thing here. It doesn't make any difference. You're only going to get the internet speed that your internet provider will allow you to have. If okay, if this thing was as big as this room, wouldn't increase your speed any mm -hmm. because it's predetermined. But it also had a, a venting system that would you know because what happens is that these things get tablets get got up a lot. Mm -hmm. It did have a venting system that also went around, but um, it's yeah. actually very light and very thin, um, which actually was really really nice. Yeah, it's. Um, and my concern, of course, is that I am not the most delicate. No, you'll break it. <laughs> she will bust it. I can guarantee that she'll bust it. Because... Um, I have a case on mine that makes it a lot larger, but it protects <coughs> it. Yeah, you have to put those things. You've got to case them. You cannot... Anybody that carries around one of those things in their hands is, is asking for a disaster. And um, here, here's the problem, too, is that... The big question is, is battery life, which they're, hem they're hemming they and hauling around about battery that life. One. No, but the, the, uh, the more power you put into something, for instance, this thing here eats more power than my smaller one. Mm -hmm. And what they've done is they've taken, um, they, they've taken a, what, like a, a 1315, okay, the Pro has an Intel processor in it, this, I think it's a 1.5. And it will eat up the power because it's designed to do graphics, folks. Mm -hmm. you got to play games, do you, graphics. You know what I was impressed by? It was how fast they did that transfer of a gigabyte from that oh hard drive. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, that was fast. Like a gigabyte, like five seconds. Yeah, oh, um, that, that, that yeah. I liked. Okay. The, the, wasn't that one for the larger one? No, that's the, uh, that is was the it, Pro. That was the Pro version, which is the Windows 8 Pro version. Yeah, which... Uh, so, um, Which is not quite as light nor quite as thin. No, it's uh, basically it's um, uh, it's a whole it's 3.5 millimeters um, energized with a 42WH, basically a USB port, three mini display port, video touch cover, you know such and such and such. But I think it weighs, you know, like maybe a. a it, it, it is a significant difference. In Nine. The light, well, the first, thicker. The, the smaller one is 606. 676 grams. This one is it's, it's nearly like it's, it's 900 grams. Yeah, which most of it does make a difference. I picked both of them up. That one also had that pen. And yeah, this was the part. Is it was cool because you could it's write on Microsoft it and make notes. On it. Yes. Oh, I, or you could like. I don't want to tell. I, I don't want to tell them over at Microsoft. This has the pen. This has Microsoft ink in it also. Um, well, I know, but it was cool in a tablet that you could well, write on cool, it and you can change it. And but um, it's cool. It's like considered like an ultra portable. But the big question is, is that will it ever come out? Oh yeah, we've seen quite a bit of that it's at the Consumer Electronics Show. Yeah. And we, sometimes it's more fanfare and buzz and they wait to see what happens. We have been to one, one, uh, one organization after other talking about the tablets that have never seen the light of the day. I mean, I, I, I mean, people have problems with Microsoft is is because they are always behind the ball when it comes to doing everything that has to on hardware. Software is one thing, but the hardware that they produce always tend to come out late. Mm -hmm. So that just like yesterday was putting a trial balloon. What's happened? All the people that do their OEMs are putting out devices off of Windows 8. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to be the, they wanted to step. I heard one of the people said they wanted to step all over everybody else that's going to that's going to beat them to the the floor. What happens is they're going to force Samsung and everybody else to come out with their device much sooner than they planned. Because remember, um, Microsoft is a software company that does hardware. They do hardware. They do mice. I mean, they, that, that's one of their mice. They do keyboards. They have the top selling. Most of this, they actually, other than Devin Logtech, have this market and the keyboard market. Yeah, yeah. I think they basically totally control the wireless market, which means they they should have a good grasp of doing it. But the, the trick is, okay, I mean, um, if the price, here's the question is, if the price is right, will it sell? I would think so. Yeah. Now, yeah. Remember, like, the operating system is, Apple has its own ecosystem, Yeah. right? 
and this is not an Android. This is Microsoft system. They should run off Windows Windows 8. Windows 8. So the idea is that from your PC to your tablet to your ultra portable, you you're operating under the same system. system. But they're they're I think what they said they're gonna have I did in my notes somewhere they they're gonna have an app store. So you'll be if they'll be carrying comparable. They have a Windows phone, which most people don't know about. It does have apps for it, mm -hmm. and. Um, the Microsoft world is a big world, so they will have the apps to make your equipment work. That is almost a gimme, because they're wanting to do, they're wanting you to do more with the Xbox, and this is all about, you know, uh, what is it, you know, you know, basically this is what this is all about, which is um, software taking a center stage. Mm -hmm. The devices are there to work in conjunction with the software for the first time. They're basically creating a whole universe the Xbox, the Kinect, all of this stuff connects up to make one well, great big universe. Well, I know that, I know for me, when I just, when I got my first tablet, I'm like, can't I, isn't there a way I can take my Microsoft onto my tablet? Yeah. And there were other companies that had things that supposedly were comparable that never quite worked the same way. So yeah. this is a way where you can carry over that ecosystem and just make well, it more yeah, seamless. Well, the problem is, is that Try to find something on an Android system that you can actually move physically your written material and stuff mm -hmm. or your displays. For instance, like you do a PowerPoint on one of these things, you do not work with it on a yeah. tablet. It does not work. The um, Apple universe basically, um, Apple has always been a confined universe. And Apple basically, if you have, if you do something on one Apple product, it tends to work across the system on all Apple products. So here's a question: Is Microsoft going to become more like Apple? Mm, Apple is becoming more like Microsoft. Uh -huh. But Apple has one product, and that's all Apple has. Or Microsoft has a lot of different products. Yeah, like the um, like what they were talking about, which most people don't realize that. What was in in 2013? They're expected to have 350 million pieces of electronic hardware that work off of Windows. That's what it's going to be turned out in 2013. They can't even come. I mean, Apple basically is not even in the ballpark when it comes to that area. Mm -hmm. So, but. Um, we, you know, we'll have to see. We'll I'm, I'm anxious to hear more about this. I'm anxious to find out when it's really coming out and yeah. what the pricing is going to be. Because yeah. if it's priced right, I can see that it, it could do very well. Yeah, but the, the problem basic being is that they they're, they said that um, the, the, ba the basic surface is going to be priced competitive with other, with other um, tablets. tablets. But do they mean how that, do they mean the the tablets that most people buy in the Android thing, or do they mean the upper end of the Apple? My, my guess is they're talking about the upper end of the Apple. Which means it makes it not competitive because people if people don't they don't upgrade from the tablet they have. They keep the tablet until the tablet goes under, and then they get another. Because one. one of the things is is Apple has, if you want to call it that, cool factor that people buy it just because it's Apple. Yeah, no, do. there's people that do that just because it's Apple. No, Microsoft has, does not have that my, same factor. Microsoft is a, is it's a nuts a, and bolts. Nuts and bolts, traditional business, you know, make it function. That's why it makes it function. So generally, you know, Apple gets lots of, I mean, uh, Apple, Apple is, like I said, starting to become more like a lot of other teams because they're producing one piece of equipment after another that doesn't actually function the way it should because they're basically not spending as much time and Our research team. and development as they should. But the, the big one, which would more or less be the big seller, which everybody has to watch oh, for, is the window, cool. the, uh, the really 8 like Pro, it. because the 8 Pro is what we would need. I really like but that. But they said it's going to be compatible with the um, with the, with the upper end PCs, which means you're looking in the thousands for that thing. I know. That will be the one that will get the heavy duty use. But it's that not, one I would really like. But it's going to be like the same people that buy the upper end Apple, you know, uh, tab, uh, Apple uh, laptop to take with them. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the same people that would buy the upper end um, Surface. The, the Surface Pro because it will do the same sort of thing because you, you know fast load speed which means you can do editing and stuff. It was really fast, a gigabyte in under five seconds. Yeah, so I guess fast. until we know more, this is you know 
This is old cow. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.